Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, MongoDB 5.0 was released. We made a Flutter game and we learned that farm stack is a thing. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite videos from last week to help you decide which to watch and maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. I'll also highlight some articles, podcasts, events, and social posts to keep you informed. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. If you want even more news, check out the Stacker News newsletter. A link to the newsletter that has all of the links mentioned in this video will be in the description below. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, MongoDB released version 5.0, Dino released version 1.12, and Node released version 16.5.0. On to the videos, these are in no particular order. Robert Brunage started playing around with Flutter and Flame to see what he could create. He made a pretty cool game that you should go check out. Next up, Maya Bello helps us understand how to handle exceptions in Python. In this beginner's Python video, you'll learn about try accept exception handling. Next, Jack Harrington lets us know that we're doing React hooks wrong. In this video, he'll show us how to get the most out of React hooks by using them as a reactive state management system by making proper use of dependency arrays with use effect, use memo, and use callback. In the next video, I show you how to get TypeScript working with React 18 Alpha. We'll use Create React App and Neat with React 18 and TypeScript. Next up, Tiffin Tech shares with us how she plans out her day as a software developer. You'll get some insight into what her day-to-day -day looks like and also get some tips on how to plan out your day to be efficient. And next, Coding Blonde helps us prepare for a coding bootcamp. If you're thinking of attending a bootcamp, then you're probably making a pretty serious career change, and that can be scary. But don't worry, as long as you prepare for it, you'll be fine. She'll go through the steps that you should take in order to prepare for a bootcamp and set yourself up for success. Next up, Fireship gives us 100 seconds of MongoDB. MongoDB is the world's most popular document database with powerful capabilities like full text search, geospatial queries, data aggregation, and much more. And 5.0 just got released. Next, Max Programming builds a YouTube thumbnail fetcher app using React and TypeScript. He uses Vite and Tailwind CSS. In this next video, Tech World with Nana talks about the challenging task of data management in Kubernetes and a tool that makes data management very easy for Kubernetes administrators, which is Kasten's K10. K10 is a data management platform to back up and restore your applications easily. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. Did you know that FarmStack is a thing? FastAPI, React, and MongoDB. It's a simpler form of the MERN stack. Check out this article on Free Code Camp to learn more. For podcasts on the Shop Talk Show, they talk about performance audits, comparing streaming and recording platforms, front end automation, and how much to bill clients. I found a great resource on Instagram last week from Lupna Dev. In the short carousel, you'll find some useful beginner level JavaScript code snippets. If you missed MongoDB.live last week, don't worry, all of the talks were recorded. Be sure to check out the ones that you're interested in, and especially the keynote that has all of the cool updates and announcements. Again, there's more info in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out, and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.